you guys. I'm Hasana. That's Usa behind the camera. And there's our little brother. Sador. And you're watching another episode of Teaching My Little Brother How to Cook. And today we are going to be making strawberry basil sorbet. And these are the ingredients you'll need. So we got strawberries, a lemon, some water, sugar, and some basil. Okay, so this recipe is really simple. Um, we'll link the recipe that I used in this video. Um, so yeah, first we're gonna heat up the water. We have water in this pot. I think I tripled the recipe, so there is <laughs> three fourths time three in <laughs> water in here. And then I didn't wanna triple the sugar because I thought it was a lot, so I just used one cup of sugar. So we're just gonna add the sugar in there and just wait for that sugar to melt in there. It'll take a while. So, we'll be back when it's all dissolved. Okay, so now Sador is gonna pour in the basil. Well, first he's gonna turn the heat off, pour the basil in and cover it so the water can be fused with basil flavor ring. So turn it off. It's the other way. This one? No, all the way. Yep. Uh, do I put all of it in? Yeah, just put your hand in and pour it in there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep, if you want to give it a little mix. I'm gonna use this. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now you can cover it. Good job. <laughs> We're just going to let that infuse for three minutes to an hour. <sighs> the longer you let it infuse, the um, more basil flavor it'll have. Oh, uh, I wear strawberry earrings because we're making strawberry sorbet. And if you pan down to my pantalones, there's strawberries, lemons. We're also using lemons and cherries. There's no cherries, but uh, I just, I really appreciate my outfit today. And uh, I look like a strawberry top. <laughs> And I got to do a new apron. Yeah. Hey. We're leveling up. We're leveling up. Hey. Okay. <laughs> okay, so while we wait for the basil to be infused in the water, um, me and Sidor are just going to take the tops off of the strawberries to prep them for a sorbet. So I like to just take the green off. I don't like to just cut it off like this because it takes a lot of the, the meaty weedies. And then just take the little top off, and it's all good. <sighs> so yeah, we're gonna do that to all these. <sighs> oh boy. <laughs> Okay, so now that our sugar and water infused, well, basil infused sugar and water is done, let me take a look at that. Mm, it smells like basil. It does. Want to smell? Yeah. So yeah, we're just gonna take out the basil and put it in the blender. So I'm gonna just put this and strain it in there. Okay, so we might have to do some batches because of the amount of strawberries we have. But um, first, we will squeeze a lemon, soften it up. I'm just cut this over here. Want me to cut it? I just gotta cut it. Are 
You want to squeeze some lemon in here? Sure. Yeah, it's good now. Not, not a lot. Okay, now we're gonna add some strawberries. You wanna add the strawberries? Yeah, just drop them in there? Yep. So the sorbet is done, but I just wanted to have like little pieces of um, basil in it. So just gonna roll it up. Just. to remove some of the foam. I feel like it's gonna freeze a little weird with the foam. Okay, so now we're gonna pour the mixture in these um, bread pans. So, Sidor, would you like to do the earners? Sure. nine pans we are gonna put them in the freezer every like hour or so we're gonna take them out um blend it with like a hand mixer um i'll show us doing that and then you want to do that for like every hour for like six hours just so it's like very smooth like <laughs> this is looking at me crazy um and then <laughs> after that after it's at like the best consistency you can um serve it that way or you can freeze it overnight for a little while and as long as you put it in a nice freezer airtight container um i think you can save this up to like six weeks so yeah we'll come back when we're blending for the first time okay so now that it's at this consistency and we have some like frozen bits on the side we're just gonna mix it up So it can have like an equal freezing point every time we um, take it out the freezer. Because without an ice cream machine, this is what we're doing. I'm just going to do this. This took about two hours to get to this point. But uh, yeah, 
guess every two hours we'll be uh, training this. And uh, we'll show you guys the finished product tomorrow. Okay, so now it's the next day and yes, we do have the same clothes on. Um, this is how it ended up looking. Uh, we were supposed to mix it like six times throughout the night, but I got tired, so I just let it freeze. And I just um, hit it one more time in the blender, smooth it all out. And yeah, now we have delicious sorbet. If you want to get a close-up on that. <laughs> hey! Now we're going to put it in this little bowl and eat it. See if it gives you the perfect ball. Strawberry-y. I think cause there were strawberries in it. <laughs> Want to try some? <laughs> Want to try some? No. Sure. And the basil's good too. Who did that? Thanks. So you want to try some? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that basil's really in there. It's great. It's really good. That second little nine pan in the freezer. We did that, man. <laughs> Alright, well, that was me teaching my brother how to make sorbet. I never made sorbet either, so this is also me teaching myself how to make sorbet. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that post notification bell. And we'll see you guys in the next one. And we'll see you guys in the next one. And we'll see you guys.